Welcome to the Jeff Crilly Show. And now, here's Jeff Crilly. Good Saturday morning, DFW. We've got a great show today. We're going to be talking about everything from workplace culture to plastic surgery to the fastest growing restaurant concept in Texas. But we're going to start with uh, a segment about a, a legendary Texan. Uh, his name was Paul Baker. And my guests right now, uh, Reese McCormick and Robin Flatt, they're w- with the Dallas uh, Theater Center, and they're going to be uh, educating us on, on Paul Baker. For those, welcome to the show, ladies. Thank you. It's great to be here, Jeff. For, for those who didn't uh, know Paul Baker, can can you bring us up to up to speed? Who was he? Robin, you want to take that since he was your dad? Well, he's um, he was a Texan, uh, as we said. He was an educator. He was an artist. He was a fantastic director. Came in with a lot of uh, wonderful, innovative ideas that really put him on the na- international landscape. Um, he. I was in charge of special services uh, for the European Theater of Operations during World War II out of Paris, France. Um, did an amazing job there, then came back to Waco, Texas at Baylor University and ran the theater department there. And <clears throat> then in um, the late, um, let's see, the, he, he was, I can't remember what years that was, uh, 55, 1955, 56, he was discovered by some of the Dallas uh, philanthropists who wanted to start theater in Dallas, and uh, they were looking for someone to help make uh, an exciting operation here in theater, and they talked to Stanley Marcus, and he said, well, I don't know why you're looking all over the country. You need to go right down to Waco and talk to that Paul Baker. Uh, (laughs) He's got uh, Charles Lawton and Burgess Meredith down there, and they're doing all kinds of neat things, so why don't you go to Waco? So they did, and they connected, and then they uh, asked him to come help form a theater here, which became the Dallas Theater Center, and uh, he developed a company. Uh, I think at the end of his time, he had a company of 35 resident artists, um, you know, who were, we were making our living there, uh, and then uh, about 80 graduate students. So it was a very active, very um, dynamic uh, uh, operation. Wow, your dad was a great man. Let, let's uh, bring in Reese. Reese, uh, many uh, people would not know that he actually started Booker T. Is that right? That's exactly right. That was while well, um, the DISD was interested in beginning an arts magnet, and um, who else? But, you know, he was he was so um, famous, uh, notorious, maybe, <laughs> depending on who you talk to. Um, and the idea was, you know, that because he had a 25-year history as an artistic director, which is unheard of, um, you know, that he would be the logical person to, to be the founder of that high school. And he populated the faculty with people who were versed in his philosophy and um, and so the integration of abilities is the name of his philosophy and the title of his book, and uh, for years that's where you would, that's what you would, that was part of your education. That was a required course. Uh, well, wherever he taught uh, at Trinity University before he came to mm-hmm. Dallas and um, and mm-hmm. at the Arts Magnet High School, it, it was a series of exercises that he re- really started way back in the forties, and they were. It was so far ahead of its time. Uh, it, they're so simple. You think, oh, this is um, this can't be serious, but it allowed people to go to their roots, discover who they are and what their strengths are, and develop those strengths in in a way that was so supportive and so just revelatory to the individual. And that experience has it, it's just. Tra- it, I mean, it's gone beyond him as almost anyone can Absolutely. take that and, and develop it. So that's what Arts Magnet was interested in. I got an email yesterday from um, a woman who lives in Austin, and she, her husband, she and her husband met at Trinity University in Paul Baker's class, which was offered through the theater department, mm. but neither of them were theater majors. He became a doctor, an otolaryngologist. She became a Spanish teacher. And her email that I just opened yesterday said, um, you know, that was a long time ago, but what we learned from Paul Baker affected everything we did in our professional lives. It had a lifetime impact. Wow. So it's not just about the arts, although, of course, obviously, we are huge proponents of the arts, um, you know, but it, but he was a genius beyond his um, 
you know, beyond his bailiwick there in the theater department. Let's talk about the documentary project, because uh, telling a, a, the Paul Baker story I, is, is not easy. To, no. You know, you can't put it in a soundbite. So talk about the journey and how the public can get involved. Well, we are at the it started in December of 2012 in a very innocent conversation with Robin <laughs> where I said, hey, where's the documentary on your dad? And she said, there isn't one. Why don't you do one? And I said, because I'm an actor, not a filmmaker. <laughs> and uh, she said, yes, but you know people. And I do indeed know people. Um, I've been working at KD Conservatory for about 30 years and uh, know a lot of filmmakers. So I've been calling in some favors. And that was five years ago. And now we're at the point where we are actually launching a fundraising campaign um, to get her done. Uh, my goal is to have it screened uh, by fall. So we've got 30 plus interviews. We've got um, all kinds of, you know, archival materials and testimonials. Uh, and my goal is to share his process. Um, because unlike other artists who may have a creative process, many great artists have a process, he actually objectified it and identified it and did it in a simple way that he could pass on. Mm. And I, I'm very interested in education reform, and um, and that's what the film is is hopefully going to speak to, educators and artists and the general public. And so you're launching a, a crowdfunding effort? Yes, and um, it, will, it will launch on this coming Monday, and it will be the um, Monday the 27th of March, and it's going to be... Um, under uh, the Indiegogo umbrella, but it's actually called Generosity. And if you want to know more about it, you can go to the Dallas Children's Theater website. Um, we, of course, will uh, you know be link- sharing with everybody we know. Can I can I send it to you on yeah, Facebook, Jeff, and absolutely. you share it with no, your? It will, ooh, absolutely, we'll, yeah. we'll absolutely put it on Facebook. Uh, so, um, Robin, is this? Uh, it's got to be. Uh, I, an honor and and also a, a challenge because this is your dad's story and and right. for, for for generations to come this is how they will know your father. Well, and I'm so glad that Reese has taken this on because for me it's it's so complex and I you know it's hard to see the forest for the trees you know so um, I'm I'm thrilled that she's taking a you know a, a, a has a vantage point that I can't possibly have but. You know, he he was he was just so amazing, and the number of people that continue to come to me and say he changed my life, he made such a difference to me. This was the most important course I ever taught, ever ever took, um, and and actually um, East, Easter Sunday I'm going to be flying to Mississippi to do a workshop there with a group of teachers that they. Uh, called Karen Cogdell and I from the Arts Magnet over to uh, to do that. So, I mean, there's a lot of new interest in his approach because it is so inclusive and it's something that's accessible to everybody if you just dare to step into it. As, as you're listening to some of these interviews, are you learning stuff about your own father? Well, of course. <laughs> yeah, right. What uh, like what are some of the aha moments that you've had since, oh. since uh, Reese has been going around getting these interviews? Well, Jen shared many of the interviews <laughs> with me per se, but um, I, I think the aha is that people from so many different walks of life have taken this and developed it in, in for themselves and made themselves stronger, more, they, they feel like they're more, I, I, I don't know, more creative in the way they've approached their work, and they may feel more fulfilled mm. and um, more daring. <laughs> Take lot, you know, because he was a risk taker. Uh, he he did not uh, just go the straight and narrow. He was always out there on the edge, exploring new ideas, attacking um, uh, something that somebody thought was maybe shouldn't be talking about. You know, right. he 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 was a maverick. And uh, I think it's it's encouraged that part of us. I think, right. That was the that was the big thing is that it's not it's not that Paul Baker was in the room. It's the process because I've been teaching that process and having um, aha moments from these students. For you know, they go, "Are you a psychiatrist? Are you a minister?" And I'm going, "No, it's it's the exercises. It's how you feel about yourself and how you are self actualized because of these very simple, basic, and authentic." Um, you know, modes that he shares. Reese, do you feel pressure that, you know, <laughs> you're, that, that this man's story is in your hands? 
you told me I couldn't cuss. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I feel so much pressure because, I, you know, I, I go into Wayne and Garth mode. I'm not worthy. You know, I mean, who am I to do this? And I just, um, it's a privilege. And um, I feel like I've either been appointed or anointed or, you know, what. I don't know why me, but I'm, I'm happy to be here. It's a privilege. Well, so let's let's give uh, the audience one more chance uh, to to get involved. You have an Indiegogo campaign. It launches on Monday. Mm -hmm. The name of the film is Ideas into Action. Paul Baker, artist, educator, Texan. So if you were to go to the generosity, the 501c3 branch of Indiegogo, basically, because we're doing this under the auspices of Robbins Theater, the Dallas Children's Theater, which is a 501c3. So the donation will actually go to a, a special account within the Children's Theater. But if you go to Indiegogo under their generosity uh, brand, um, Paul Baker, and just Google Paul Baker. Awesome. And if you have a problem, call me. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. Well, ladies, you were you were awesome, and congratulations on such a worthwhile project. Well, thank, thank you for you. having thank us. Thank you. This is a, a really a pleasure. Awesome. Okay, when we come back, one of the fastest growing restaurant concepts in Texas, and the story behind Shell Shack, just ahead on the Jeff Kelly Show. More of the Jeff Crilly Show coming up. 